Okay. What up, Blockchain Nation? What up, YouTube? Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to this channel. And uh, today we're going to review a particular. Or well, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, today we're going to review um, one of my very first videos. Well, not necessarily review one of my first videos, but review a comment. So. Uh, if you take the time to watch this, this is my one of the first videos I did. In fact, the actual first video, I, the very actual first video I recorded is called my top 10 blockchain certifications. Um, I talked about a couple of certifications that you can try, and somebody commented. He said, um, "Well, here I listed all the certifications that you can try. And one was the certified Bitcoin professional, which is the actual course I want to go over with in this video. But I just want to talk, go over a comment. Here is a comment by someone who said." The uh, CBB is outdated and has not been updated in several years. CBP is the Certified Blockchain Professional, which is this. And his comments are, the Blockchain Certifications, uh, the Blockchain Council Certifications are poorly written. They have no credibility, blah, 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 blah. The main certifications that provide real test product is the Blockchain Training Alliance. So basically what he's saying is that this is the only best certification to take, which is the Blockchain Training Alliance. And I just want to say that honestly, I get absolutely no money or nothing whatsoever to endorse or to disprove any of these certifications. I feel the best certification to take is the certification that works for you. But reason why I talk about this particular certification is uh, let me just quick disclaimer there a certification does not guarantee you a job now in my experience a certification might get your CV um, noticed by recruiters for instance if I show you my CV this is my CV here as you can see I'm a certified Bitcoin professional with the cryptocurrency certification consortium which is uh, these guys and also, I am a certified blockchain developer with the Blockchain Council. I'll probably go over this certification at another date. But here's the thing. Certifications do not mean you will get a job. There are other things that you need to do. But in this growing space, I feel uh, one advantage or one way of getting noticed by recruiters is having that extra uh, step of being blockchain certified now this bitcoin certified or having this um, any kind of certification uh now the people that are watching this channel and you're you're not trying to do a nine to five your goal is learning about blockchain technology so you can be an entrepreneur and start your own business which is great but for the people out there who are going into becoming a blockchain developer or going into this um, distributed ledger cryptocurrency space to be a um as a career then this is a in my opinion a great place to start now the very first application of blockchain technology is bitcoin this is the white paper that was written by a guy named satoshi nakamoto in 2008 and this is what started it all from bitcoin it was it was after bitcoin was implemented after bitcoin started to gain some kind of a mass adoption that people looked at the technology behind bitcoin and realized that wow this distributed ledger blockchain technology has so many applications so i feel that a great place to start getting in this industry is to start by learning about bitcoin you do not have to be certified but if you choose to be this course or this video is for people who are interested in pursuing the uh, certified bitcoin professional certification that's a mouthful i know so if doesn't interest if this doesn't interest you i have other videos that we can talk about other things but for those who might be considering taking the uh, certified bitcoin professional exam this one's for you so as you can see this is my profile i'll just show you the cryptocurrency certification consortium now the mission statement is the cryptocurrency certification consortium establishes cryptocurrency standards that help ensure a balance of openness privacy security and usability and trust and decentralization looks interesting hasn't been updated in a while i have to agree so the advisors are some people and it looks like on the board we have andreas antonopoulos vitalik buterin who are major players in the bitcoin cryptocurrency space but basically I like the certification. It was my very first certification I did, and I learned a lot. So, 
Just to show you, if I go over to these are all the certifications presently, let's go to my certifications. Once you, you decide to take this exam or this course, it creates a um, profile for you. So you can see I'm a certified Bitcoin professional. If I click on view, yeah, so I did this August 2018. It cost, when I actually did the exam, it cost $99. It's an application fee and here, what I like about this certification is that you have to pay in Bitcoin so it's a good way for you to start to learn how to use the apps all right so if you decide to only if you decide to take this certification which I think is cool here is how um, a good way to ensure that you pass because you're not just taking it for fun I'm sure you're taking it to learn stuff you're taking it to have an advantage in terms of putting on your CV and you're also taking it because obviously you want to pass the exam so there's a course on Udemy, it's by Ravinda Dio, Certified Bitcoin Professional, passed the certification exam. So if I click here, and it comes up sometime today, here we go. So here it is, um, this is the course, it just helps you to pass the exam. You can take a look at it later, I'm not going to play it here, but here is it, here is what I'm highlighting. It's on Udemy, the Certified Bitcoin Professional Certification Exam. So it's a course that he talks about um, the certification, things that you need to do to pass the exam. And what I also like is, oh, here we go, my internet has some issues, is what he also provides, or what you can also buy on Udemy, is this 175 pra practice exam questions, which is good. It gives you three attempts, practice test, practice test one, practice test two, practice test three. And then after these three attempts, and going over this course you'll be in a good position to actually uh, buy or pass the exam i like what he talks about he goes over basic cryptography history of money introduction to this course blah 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 so in my opinion if you decide to take this course this is a good resource uh, because it will help you to pass the exam but having said that now there are to me, there are three uh, things, things I want to emphasize. The first thing I want, to, I want to emphasize is the course is good, gives you an advantage um, on your CV, in my experience, because I get recruiters who call me all the time just because I happen to have, uh, one of the reasons is because I have this certification in my CV. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to emphasize. Second thing I want to emphasize is that just doing the course alone is not everything. You can have the certification, but the second thing, what I'll just talk about sometime in this video is all the things that you can do to make sure that not only do you just have the certification, but you also have some skills and that you can also do something practical in terms of, uh, in with Bitcoin, in terms of um, programming and using the application. So that's the second thing I want to emphasize. And uh, the third thing I want to emphasize is this is just the beginning, you know, doing the course, uh, doing the certification, doing some courses, then actually it'll be good to read up more, study more, and um, I'll put some links in the uh, description video below of other things that you can do to learn more about this space. So first thing is doing the exam, having the certification, which is great, you're certified, you become a certified Bitcoin professional, which is a good certification to have. As you can see then to learn more about Bitcoin the, I want to suggest that you look at everything you can find on YouTube on by Andreas Antonopoulos I'll just show you here's his YouTube channel and this is a video they should watch it's called introduction to Bitcoin by Andreas Antonopoulos um, the sound is turned off but uh, it's a very very good one that I, pro that I promise you, you will learn a lot if you subscribe to Andreas's channel and watch this video where he talks about basic introduction to Bitcoin and also please get Andreas's book I talked about this in a previous video it's called Mastering Bitcoin by Andreas Antonopoulos it's a good book to read you can read the first two chapters if you're not a very technical person or you can just read the entire thing if you have nothing else to do with your time I'm kidding but you can also read the entire thing and I promise you you learn a lot so I talked about these what you can do to pass the exam by going over this Udemy course 
I've mentioned, um, I'll get back to this, this is the last thing I've, I've mentioned, Andreas Antonopoulos' YouTube channel plus his book that you should read to learn more about Bitcoin. And also another resource that I want to highlight is this by Ivan on Tech. Ivan on Tech, let me just show you real quick. He also has a very, oh, this guy is so cool. Who is this guy? Oh my goodness, you should subscribe to the channel. Oh, it's me, huh? <laughs> yeah, nah, don't mind me. Anyways, where was I? Just distracted. Ivan on Tech. Nah. Ivan on Tech, night. Nah, Ivan has a very, very, very cool YouTube channel um, where you can learn a lot about blockchain technology, about Bitcoin and the rest. And the good thing, what I want to emphasize is he has, I, I'm currently doing this course, Smart Contract Programming. Um, hope I get it done soon. But he has a new course called Bitcoin Programming 101. So to me, I would suggest that you, this is a very good place to start in learning about this space. If I could do it all over again, Probably I would have emphasized more time learning about Bitcoin in the beginning. So he has this course called Bitcoin 101, Programming Bitcoin. It looks like a very, very good course, uh, which is so cool. Lecture content unlocked, enroll in this course unlocked. So I guess you have to enroll. And to enroll in this course, where does it say enroll? Is this course out? Enroll the course. What is happening, Ivan? There we go. Oh, gotcha. So one year membership. Oh, you have to join some. Which one? Anyways, <sighs> not to bore you with all the details, but this is a good course to take. I've done the smart. Com this is this is the course I'm currently taking. Excuse me, smart contract programming. But um, I probably would get this course on Bitcoin programming one on one. I personally would get it as well. So just to re go over everything we said. First of all, to pass the cryptocurrency cert. Certification Consortiums exam, such a mouthful. Just saying that alone gives me a headache. But the Certified Bitcoin Professional that's hosted by C4, they just call them C4, to pass this exam, do go, to, go on Udemy and get this um, Certified Bitcoin Professional course by Ravindra, or Ravindra Dio, and also his 175 practice exam. So once you do this and you um, are able to go over this Udemy course and also do these practice exams you'll be in a better position a better place to actually uh, sit for and pass this exam the exam costs about $99 and I believe there's a one-off registration fee of $34 if you decide to do the exam I have no gain in you taking this certification so after you've done that more than having the certification you still want to take your knowledge a little bit further get Andreas's book on uh, mastering Bitcoin and then you can also um, watch all of these videos, or well, a lot, a couple of these videos, as much as you can possibly watch, on Andreas on YouTube. I'll put a link below. And finally, if you decide to, you can also go further by taking Ivan's course on Bitcoin Programming 101. I hope that helps. Certifications are not everything, but if you have the time to, some people are like, look, I don't have the time for all this. What do I need to do? There are other resources out there. That you can just go straight to learning about blockchain technology, but I think it's good to lay a good foundation and learn about Bitcoin, which is actually the very, very first application of blockchain technology. You can also read Satoshi Nakamoto's white paper and we'll give you the details about Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the first application of blockchain, so it's a very, very good foundation in my personal opinion. So, I hope this video helps. I hope you're able to learn a couple of things. Hit the subscribe button. Also, um, we'll also be reviewing the Certified Blockchain Developer Certification just to have that out of the way. And then we'll go into some other major stuff. Anyways, my wish for you is that you learn how to code and that you learn about this blockchain distributed ledger technology space because uh, those who get involved early in my personal opinion will greatly impact the future and uh, if that's you then um, let's go change the world. Thank you.